Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Dingo Gay, and of course, this is the Noble Space. Welcome back to an to yet another video. So guys, ah, uh, we are here. Number one, thank you so much for everyone who have been uh, watching my videos consistently. Thank you so much for watching my videos, of course. Ah, uh, and also for liking and commenting. liking and commenting on my videos i really appreciate you the reason i do what i do and in case you have been bench watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet kindly i would add you kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can be able to grow and so that you can be able to reach out to so many people because yes uh for this for for this channel we are all about self-awareness, emotional intelligence, social intelligence, any, all those things that you can think of, guys, that, those are the things that we, uh, we are here because of that. Eh? So our physical, our mental, and our emotional wellness is the key. It is why we are here. So guys, today, we had started earlier before the concept of personality and you have talked about the sanguines today we are going to talk about uh the melancholics the melancholics uh for a sanguine it is we have two types of intro extroverts which are the sanguines and the cholerics and we have introverts which are melancholic and phlegmatics we will learn all about that but Yes, so guys, that's it. Uh, today we are learning about melancholics. Or in other words, in the, in, the, in the animal kingdom, they are called the beavers. They are called the beavers. Yes, uh, the reason why they are called the beavers, we will talk about that later, later, later. So guys, do not forget to hit the subscription uh, button if you have not subscribed. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any time we are learning. To get to know who we are so that you may understand where we are coming from why we behave the way we do why we think the way we do even why we do the things we do does that make sense if it doesn't make sense don't worry and there's nothing we can do about it <laughs> so today i'm learning about melancholic and yes as we had we talked we said last time about sanguines sanguines uh for four we are you are uh you are uh you consist or is not you are at a, a total sum of all the four um, the, the four temperaments but we have the dominant the dominant one. like for example for me the dominant one is a choleric i am a choleric melancholic and the dominant one is choleric and then the second the second one is the melancholic so you find that i tend to show more of the choleric side than the melancholic side of me where if I tell someone that I enjoy my own company, they are like, I never know what I'm outgoing because the outgoing part is the, the choleric part of me. So, yes, you are a sum total of the four, but you have the dominant one. And so it is good you know. So some of the strengths for the melancholic, I'm at the beavers, let us call them beavers, or the blues, sometimes when you use colors, they are they are given color blue. Blue I'm a green. I'm not so sure, but I will let you know. I will link, I will put it on the description box opportunity so that you can understand these things. Number one, they are very accurate in what they do. They are very accurate. If for example you've got to go uh, to uh, to bump into maybe a research from a melancholic or a, a job or a project or things too, they are very accurate. With the way they do their things, with the way they like their things, being even with the way they think, they are very, very, very accurate. And also, they are very analytical. They analyze every little thing. If, for example, you find a melancholic for supermarket, there are those who will even look at the contents, the table of contents. They look the baka. Uh, expiry date and majority of us sometimes we don't even remember to check the, the, the expiry date they take they even check the the ingredients they check any they are those they are very analytical 
of the thing of the way they do their thing and uh, the other thing is oh sorry they are very orderly very orderly especially if you find a typical melancholic where the, dom the, the, the melancholic is the dominant one and the others they have a big gap between the first the, the dominant and the second one they are very orderly I there is this character I, I I love. There is this comedy that I watched a while ago and I still repeat once in a while called The Bing Bang Theory. And in case you have watched it, there is this character, the main character in that group, and I was Sheldon, I'm a Jim Pastor in his real name. Uh this guy is a melancholy, he portrays a melancholic personality in that comedy because you find that even his things. You don't touch his things. You don't do. You he 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 puts everything even color coded. He labels everything. <laughs> he labels everything, uh, and his friends were saying he labels even the label marker. Yani he and he puts everything. He loves order. Even in his clothes, he keep, keeps them in an orderly manner. Uh, if their shoes, he puts white pamoja, red pamoja. Yani he is that kind. To the extent where he's very keen with his things. In case you touch his thing, if he comes and just looks at it, he will tell that there's somebody who was there. And they touched their things. So, yes, they are also uh, very methodical and exhaustive. Any methodical and very exhaustive. Any, they exhaust every little detail. Every detail. Every detail about anything they are doing every detail the other thing is they have high standards standards how's it going to be and especially if you are raised by a parent who is a melancholic oh and to you because where the standard they put they have the high standards they put those high standards on everyone themselves their spouses their children their friends all of them they put those high standards on, on them and it's a good thing it's a positive thing they are very they, they are they are very controlled Oh, they are very controlled. Like for them, they 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 love uh they love routines. They love routines. Uh, they love instructions. They love such things. So, uh, it is a good thing. Now, for the for the for the uh, the we are their weaknesses. Oh, their weaknesses is because they are very analytical. They take a lot of time to make decisions. And if, if, for example, you are married or you have married a melancholic, they take too much time to make decisions because they have to make sure that they have gotten all the facts right before they do before they do anything. They have gotten all the facts right, all the facts are on the table, and they have every information they need for them to make those decisions. And yes. Now, the other thing is because they are, have high standards, they are very hard on themselves. Very hard. The moment they put those high standards and they are not able to uh, hit the target, they are very hard on themselves. The other thing is they are very, uh, they are perfectionists, of course, because we say they are orderly, so they are perfectionists. And these perfectionists transit even to other people because they are perfectionists, they expect everybody to be like them. And of course, as far as other 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 temperaments also, they are like that. Because if maybe, for example, you are a sanguine and you're outspoken, maybe you're expecting everybody else to be outspoken like you, it becomes a bit tricky. Uh, the other thing is they are very picky because they are very analytical. Of course, they become picky because they analyze everything. And if you are uh, you are like that, of course, you have to be... It comes naturally by you being picky. Being picky with friendships being picky with what they do, being picky with the places they go, and being picky with everything they do. Another thing, they are, the, one funny thing about them <laughs> is that they are overly sensitive. Very, very sensitive. Overly sensitive. And the funny thing about us is we don't want to embrace the, the, the weaknesses because it is by embracing the weaknesses and then we start working on them. Because you have, we don't have to live uh, with this notion of mimi na kuanga hivi apana, we have to make sure that you change because yeah, you can't keep on saying that mimi na kuanga hivi. No, you have to make an effort of changing, and by you embracing the weaknesses, you get to change and you get to understand 
when people have issues with you and maybe even with yourself so yes uh there are so many things about this temperament that you can be able to learn from and in case for, in, in case you do want me to come to your church uh teach your men your church or you have church events teach your youth your teenagers even older people to get to know because even right now there are people who don't even know and you find that sometimes even the fight some of the fights that we they end up happening in marriages is because of the difference in temperament so if you'd like me to come to your church to your school to your chamas to come and speak to you about these things self-awareness self-love about uh emotional intelligence about uh all these things life self-development and all other things kindly hit me up i will leave my 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 contact on the de description box so that you can get in touch in content with me so guys yes thank you so much for watching again this video if you want to learn more you can always google you can always ask apoko comment section how to go about ah uh, thank you so much for watching and till next time bye